Councillor McFadden. Actually, I'm going to ask Councillor Carlson to speak next because I'd like to speak last. Councillor Carlson. Thanks very much, Madam Mayor. And Gary, it's a measure, measure of a man that those who know him the best respect him the most. And clearly today with uh, 300 plus colleagues, uh, you're well surrounded by people who honour you, respect you, and wish you the very best in the future. Um, for me, I've always appreciated your uh, consummate professionalism and, and the modest Canadian way that you go about doing your job without much fanfare and, you know, and almost a gosh shuck sort of approach to solving problems. And, you know, and it, it serves you well over many, many years. Uh, I, I, I don't know why you're looking at us. You should be turning around looking at all these people that are behind you because uh, I know they've been behind you throughout your career and they're with you now. And we certainly all join together uh, praying for the very best for you. And we wish you and your family all the best to enjoy this spectacular day. I must say, about it, it's the most unusual ceremony, and uh, I'm honored to be here today to share it with you. Thank you. Councillor McFadden. Thank you. I've asked to speak last because this is very difficult for me. Um, on a personal note, Gary, um, I congratulate you on this honor. The only thing I wish is it was in Ward 10, but that's okay. It's not. It's in Ward 9, but we're right on the border, so that's okay. Um, I will certainly be there on a groundbreaking day with your family and with you. And on a personal note to you, I, I'm very honored to have had you as a friend. And to all of the people here that you have led, which some of them I find very difficult that you were able to control them. Um, but they're better men for that and better women because you've been at the, the realm for them. And I admire you as, as a leader. And hopefully that um, you'll continue to lead this group. And I wish you and your family all the best. And at this time, I'd like members of council to fill their glass stand up and raise um, their glasses to a wonderful man and the audience please uh, stand up with us and give Gary Morton to a wonderful man, a wonderful leader and congratulations to the team. difficult to add for the mayor to add anything to what has been to what has been said by the councillors. I think they express the the feelings of all of us so so very well. And as leader, you know, I uh, it's quite an honor to have for the mayor to receive letters from the fire marshal, the Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs, because Gary, you've not made an impact on this community. You've made an impact on Canada on the communities across the country because of your leadership, the role in which you played. Uh, I always felt as mayor that if we had another disaster, such as the derailment as we had in which our fire department won a claim throughout the world for the service you provided then, and you were there. You were there. You were one of the men that uh, was present. But to know that we do have in, in this community the best fire department. I know, folks, you've heard me say that so often. The best fire department in Canada is right here in Mississauga. No question about it. You're recognized throughout Canada as performing, and you certainly helped to put us on the world map with how the derailment was handled in 1979. So. The other thing is that if we had another disaster, with you as the leader, and I think Councillor Unica mentioned, you're so calm and so so confident that you can handle anything, no matter what comes our way. That was the impression I got from your leadership, the confidence in you, because confidence is one thing that is so important today, to have confidence in those who serve us. I can assure you, I, as mayor of this great city, is absolute confidence 
that you would handle any disaster in hell, that we would do, be successful and do the right things on behalf of the people. So, to recognize you this way is really something special. Uh, that facility is going to train uh, young men and women to be capable of dealing with any disaster. And that is what it's all about. And that is that would be your wish. That is your intent. That was your vision that we train our young men and women to be the best in the fire service. So today uh, it's just a, such a tribute. Uh, and may God bless you richly and, uh, and your family that you will be with us for a long time to come, really, is our wish. And enjoy uh, and to look at back on your leadership must be such a satisfying thing. Often people ask me as leader, what, what is so satisfying about your job? And I said, it's to look back on what we've accomplished. Well, you have a lot to look back on. So congratulations and all the best wishes. Polly, you can take over from here. I believe we go now to uh, the plot. And Amir, could you come to the side, please? Uh, by the way, I just want to uh, recognize Emil Cole is in the audience. Yay. And former Chief Cyril Hare. Cyril, you're here. Thank you for coming. Chief Bentley, are you here? Very good. Yeah. I'd like Chiefs, former chiefs to come forward to, to join us in this. I think it's very important. This fire department has been built uh, by capable, very capable fire chiefs. And secondly, Gary, you just moved it up a notch like each one has done. You moved it up another notch. So I think you would welcome having your two former chiefs with you. Because you served under them as uh, Okay, uh, Madam Mayor, could you, the, can uh, you come call? to the side, please, Madam yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to ask uh, the other members of council to join uh, the mayor and uh, the chief. Seda was the one that uh, recommended this, and uh, so I, uh, the chief mentioned that in the speech, so I'm asking him to join. Okay, chief, let's go.
I would ask council to join me here, all members of council, to have the picture taken with the chief. As I appreciate all his efforts in helping us, uh, and he is just a class act that everybody has uh, supplied. Uh, Gary, on uh, behalf, personally, on behalf of uh, all the men and women of the Peel Regional Police, I wish you well, and uh, I'll be standing right beside everybody and you at the groundbreaking.